Hello everybody, welcome. So in this video I'm gonna talk about the common upper structure chords of altered dominant. For this particular chord type, I am again going straight to the common use cases for practicality sick. So let's check them out. First one, C7 sharp 5. So in order to yield a C7 sharp 5 sound, the upper structure way of doing things is you can actually play a C omena triad over a C7 shell or simply a C bass note. So technically this one is not actually a an upper structure chord. So you're starting on C, but it's used quite often. So I've included that uh, here. So let's take a listen. Let's play C, seven shell, and uh, let's play a uh, C almond to try it here. See, let me go up an octave. See? Okay, so that's a C7 augmented sound. Pretty simple here. Start on C, start on C, and play augmented. And that's your sharp, sharp 5 sound, okay? Dominant 7 sharp 5. Alright, cool. So, easy to remember. Same root, okay? Number 2, slightly more complicated. You have C7, so sharp 9, sharp 5 first, and then the sharp 9 goes to flat 9 later on. So, in order to yield this type of sound, we can actually play the D flat minor 9 arpeggio. So no um, no flat 7, we'll be skipping the flat 7. So we played this over the C7 shell or a C bass note. So let's uh, check it out. What I'm going to do is, uh, I actually have already recorded a uh, C bass, but uh, let me try it out first here, first. So C, okay, and then I'll play the uh, D flat minor. Okay, D flat minor, D flat, F flat. And then the A flat, and uh, I'm gonna hit the ninth of D flat right away instead of playing the seventh, okay? And then the root, okay? So I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna resolve to F minor. I'm gonna do it one more time. All right. Okay. So I recorded a much lower C bass note. So let's check it out. Okay, one, two, three, four. F minor. A page you. Quartz. One more time. Okay, so that's how you can use it. You can play a D flat minor nine arpeggio, so no flat seven though. And uh, you if you want to have this move, sharp nine to flat nine cell, you can uh, go to uh, D flat minor triad. So if we analyze that a little bit, if we analyze it a little bit, um, taking a look at the D flat minor um, arpeggio, against the uh, C bass. So really D flat is the uh, flat 9 of C. The uh, flat 3rd of D flat is actually the major 3rd of C, okay? And then you have um, A flat, the 5th of D flat minor. That's really sharp 5 of C, right? And then you have the uh, major 9th of D flat, which is really uh, sharp 9 of C. And then the uh, flat nine. So flat nine here is really the uh, sorry the uh, the root of D flat. So D flat is really the flat nine of C. So if I, if I uh, put it down on paper, that would look something like this. So D flat, yeah, and uh, that's E uh, F flat. That's really just E. And then you have G flat. And then you have the ninth E flat, okay? And uh, again C. And if I uh, translate everything re with respect to C now, you are re effectively playing the uh, so D flat is really just flat nine, okay? F flat is E, so third. G flat is uh, so A flat. Sorry, I made a mistake here. A flat, A flat. Um, that's really G sharp, right? So sharp five. And E flat, what about E flat? E flat is really uh, 
D sharp, right? So sharp nine. Okay. And that E flat, you can resolve that down to D flat. So sharp nine to flat nine. Hopefully things are not too messy here. So it should look pretty um, decent still, hopefully. So flat nine, third, sharp five, uh, sharp nine. Okay. So A flat is actually just sharp five. And uh, sharp nine. Okay. So A flat is really just G sharp. Okay. So, so sharp five. And a sharp nine, you can resolve that E flat to D flat, so sharp nine to flat nine, okay? Over C. Or a C7 shell, okay? Okay, cool. So that's the uh, analysis, okay? Um, in the next video, we're going to work out a few exercises uh, of this, okay? So I would see you there.